So today we have nice algebraic system of equations and we have to solve this equation so as to get the value of x and y which belong to the real plane. So let us see the solution how can we solve for this. So first of all look at the LHS part of this first equation. It is x cube plus y cube which is an algebraic identity. The identity is x cube plus y cube can also be written as x plus y multiplied with x square plus y square minus xy. So this thing can be replaced with this one and that value is already equals to 8 as per this equation. Okay. Now this factor that is x square plus y square minus xy can also be written in some other way. What we have to do is rewrite this thing as this way x square plus y square plus 2xy minus 3 times xy. Now you can see that 2xy minus 3xy will give me negative xy and in the beginning x square plus y square is as it is. And here also x square plus y square plus 2xy can also be written as x plus y the whole square. So x plus y the whole square minus 3 times xy. So this is the other way we can rewrite x square plus y square minus xy. So now let us replace x square plus y square minus xy with this new value that is x plus y the whole square minus 3xy. So we have x plus y the whole square minus 3xy and this thing is already equals to 8. Okay. Now this is our first equation. This was our original first equation but we have just adjust the terms as to get this one. And this is the second equation that xy plus x plus y is equals to 2. And now what I will do is put a bracket over here and here. So now the equation will look like xy plus bracket x plus y is equals to 2. Now what I will do is let the value of x plus y be equals to a and the value of x into y be equals to b. So with this new value let us rewrite this first equation and this second equation. So now let us rewrite the first equation and second equation. So the first equation will turn out to be a into a square minus 3 times b is equals to 8 and the second equation will turn out to be b plus a is equals to 2 and the first equation we can see that the least repeated term is b so now from the second equation let us have b in terms of a so if i will subtract a from both the sides i will get that b is equals to 2 minus a so this is the value of b in terms of a now in the first equation this b will be replaced with this particular value so now we will have that a into a square minus 3 times 2 minus a is equals to 8 opening the brackets will give me that a cube minus 6 times a plus 3 times a square is equals to 8 adjusting the terms so we will get a cube plus 3 a square minus 6 times a minus 8 is equals to 0 so now we have a cubic equation and it is absolutely easy to solve using the factorization method what i will do is a cube as it is 3 a square i will split it as negative 2 times a square plus 5 a square and negative 6 times a I will rewrite as negative 10 times a plus 4 times a and negative 8 as it is and that is equals to 0. This and this has been just splitted into terms. Now look carefully from a cube minus 2 a square I can take a square common so inside the bracket a minus 2. From 5 a square minus 10 times a I can take 5 a common that is positive 5 a taken common so inside the bracket a minus 2. And 4 a minus 8 I can take positive 4 common so a minus 2 and this thing is equals to 0 a minus 2 taken as a common factor so a square plus 5 times a plus 4 is equals to 0. So now we can observe that we have a quadratic equation over here that is a square plus 5a plus 4 and this can also be factored out as a plus 4 into a plus 1 that's absolutely easy and this is multiplied with a minus 2 and that whole thing is equals to 0. So now we have that a minus 2 into a plus 4 into a plus 1 is equals to 0. So either this is equals to 0 or this is equals to 0 or this is equals to 0. So ultimately we are going to have 3 values of a so let us write them. So if this thing is equals to 0 the value of a is going to be equals to 2. If that thing is equals to 0 the value of a is equals to negative 4 and if this thing is equals to 0 the value of a is going to be negative 1. So these are the 3 values of a. Now remember a relation between a and b. The relation is present over here that b is equals to 2 minus a. So for these 3 values of b the value of b is going to be equals to 2 minus 2 that is 0 and when the value of a is negative 4 the value of b is going to be 2 negative of negative 4 that is 2 plus 4 that is 6 and similarly when the value of a is going to be equals to negative 1 the value of b is going to be 2 minus of minus 1 that is equals to 3. So now for these 3 values of a we have these 3 values of b so now let us write it down in pairs. So a comma b is going to be equals to 2 comma 0 
or else negative 4 comma positive 6 or else negative 1 comma positive 3 but the question was to solve for the value of x and y and remember that a was considered as x plus y and b was considered as x y so x plus y comma x y is satisfied with 2 comma 0 or else negative 4 comma 6 or else negative 1 comma 3 so from here let us solve for the value of x and y so from the first case we have x plus y is equals to 2 and x y is equals to 0 from the second case we have x plus y is equals to negative 4 and x y is equals to 6 and from the third case we have x plus y is equals to negative 1 and x y is equals to 3 so now we have three cases and each of them is containing two equations and we have to solve them so as to get the value of x and y so this is the first case this is the second and here is the third one so now we can see that the system of equation in the first case is absolutely easy to solve x plus y is equals to 2 and x y is equals to 0 therefore solution for x comma y is going to be equals to 0 comma 2 or else 2 comma 0 and remember that x and y should belong to the real plane so here it is so this answer is absolutely correct so now let us solve the second case so as to get the value of x and y so as we can see that x y is equals to 6 so from here we have the value of y that is 6 upon x now in the first equation let us replace y with 6 upon x so we will have x square plus 4 times x plus 6 is equals to 0 so we will use the quadratic formula so from there we will get the value of x that is negative 4 plus and minus square root of 4 square 16 minus 36 and 16 minus 36 has a value that is negative 20 so what we are saying is that the value of x is negative 4 plus and minus square root of negative 20 upon 2 and this value is an imaginary value because here we are dealing with a square root of a negative number so here the value of x goes in the imaginary plane and that is out of the real plane so this case will give us the value of x and y that are not real so we will not consider this and now look at the third case xy is equals to 3 therefore the value of y is going to be 3 upon x let us replace y with this new value so we will have x square plus 3 plus x is equals to 0 and if we will solve this equation so x is equals to negative 1 plus and minus square root of 1 minus 12 so here also we can see that 1 minus 12 is negative 11 so here also we are going to get the value of x and y in the imaginary plane and that is not belonging to the real plane so the case 3 will also not give the value of x and y that are real so these are the only values of x and y in the real plane that will solve the equation x cube plus y cube is equals to 8 and x y plus x plus y is equals to 2. So this was my way to solve this particular question. If you have any other method other than this you can do comment below and if it's hard to comment you can email me or else you can send it to me on my instagram or else discord the links are in the description.